Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon and what I have here is something I am very proud of. It's the first of its size, it's a two wide button operated 3x3 three three door, but it's only 9 box high, which has never been done before. Press the button, and it toggles, press the button again, and it toggles open. Now, the great thing about this is it also works in bucket, unlike some designs which have buttons on and all strange things like that. It just needs a few moderations, which I'll show you in the tutorial. So, this thing is really compact and uses a few little neat tricks to get it to work. Now, first of all, we have the T flip flop, which is just a basic little simple thing here, where it's got the dropper, dropper, hopper at the bottom, going to comparator, standard little design there, and that's just what nicely fitted into the space. Now that goes into this block here, which goes through the repeater and just powers your general normal circuit which you have on most doors, which does the closing and part of the opening, like that. Now this has signal up here which just powers all of the pistons on the piston ring on the outside, but then we get to the part which makes it so compact and how I managed to do this. So up here is a torch. Now this torch isn't going to power these two pistons here because of the way it's placed, but it is going to power this piston here. As you can see, when I press the button to close the door, this repeater here is going to turn off before this pulls up and no pulse is going to go through these and nothing's going to happen. But now when I press the button, these are going to turn on but then one tick after this repeater is turned on, this box is going to get pushed out of the way. It's going to give a short pulse into this circuit here, which does the closing of the um, pulling down of the double extender in conjunction with this repeater here, which does the first push up of the bottom piston. But we see that in all designs. This is the interesting part. You see that flashed on really quickly, and that's what pulls it down. And also, this is actually faster than some designs of its size, even with levers, because there's a 3 tick repeater here and not a 4 tick, because I managed to get a 1 tick pulse through here. Now I said earlier this does work on bucket, but there's just a few moderations that need to be made. So if you want to see the tutorial on how to make this, if you're on computer there'll be an annotation on the screen right now, and if you're on mobile there'll be a link in description. If you like this design give it a like, if you want to see more of my stuff give it hit the subscribe button. So thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon.